what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow Jimmy's, this is Catching Fire 3 with Speed Dating for Ghosts. I don't know how the game will play, but oh look, the cursor is a little skeleton hand, nice. Uh, this video may be a little longer than most of the other ones. If I pay my cards right, it'll only be 40 minutes, but who knows. Oh, hello there. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. Hi Fran. I run this little operation. Nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. We got all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. He gets lonely being a ghost. It looks like it. It has? Wonderful! Wow, that's rude. Then let's get started. We've got three rooms set up. Each with their own super fun themes. You pick one. And sit at a table. Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings and you switch seats. A bell rings from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds. And at the end, you get to choose your favorite. If they like you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? Can't wait. Neither can I. First things first though. Ugh. Yeah? What's that do? What's that? What's that? Oh, that's the saving icon, okay. Choose your room. Room of palms, room of... Well, I guess palms, whatever that does. The room of palms. It looks like the basement of an old church. Well, of course it would. Faded linoleum floors. Spare walls with the odd religious print framed in peach colored wood. On one side is a large open kitchen. Old refrigerators donated by the congregation hum and drip. Ew. This must be where the cabbage smells coming from. Rose's long tables are set up for the next spaghetti supper. Ooh, spaghetti supper. They work well enough for today's speed dating. There's the bell. Oh, it's blue. It's bright blue. The bell rings and a ghost appears. He has a football in his head. So, I'm Riley. You're pretty hot for a ghost. Um, thanks. No prob, no prob. Isn't it cool we stay the age we died? You died to a football to the head, like, into your head. I don't know how. What, yeah, how? How? Did you, like, go in front of the machine that, like, shoots out the football for people or something? Makes Don Young look a little better. How'd you die? Oh, wow. So, uh, long story. I was a wide receiver in high. There it is. Got real good when it came time for college. BAM! Full scholarship. But football's rough. When you catch passes like I did, you take a lot of blows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did it really just make that joke? It just made that joke. It just made that joke, didn't it? God damn it. After a while, I started getting headaches. I'd get dizzy just standing up. But I kept on playing. Had to. Oh, concussions. I mean, these were my best years until one day. Intracranial hematoma. Yep. Brain damage. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, now I'm here. And we get to meet that side. You had potential. I try not to let it define me, you know? So many ghosts have sad stories. I want to make the best of this. Have some fun. Be the best Riley I can be. It's just hard to figure out what that means. I wish ghosts didn't care so much about labels. It's just like when we were alive. Everyone always telling me who I was. Without bothering to learn who I am. So who are you? I'm still figuring that out. Without my division high receiving yards and all the cheering in the stands, who is Riley? That's what, I'm right there. That's what coach would always tell me. You've got heart, Riley. Hold on to that kid. Maybe he was onto something. There goes the bell. The bell rings. Well, no shit. I think that was good timing. Yeah, that's good. Oh, snap. Half time. Guess we call time out. Let's keep this going in the second half. Ooh, I like that. Another ghost appears. Who should that be? Um, I already don't like you. <coughs> Hello, sunshine. The ghost takes a long drag of the cigarette. <laughs> the smoke rises up through the hollow frame. 
pumping out holes in their back. Nice to meet you. Is it? That's a surprise. I'm Vera. That or the lady in smoke. That's what the ghost hunters call me. Ghost hunter? You look familiar. Maybe I just have one of those faces. <coughs> a lot of ghosts know me for years now. I've haunted Vegas. The glitzier condominiums on the strip. Obnoxious houses behind gates. I wake up. Rich fools at night, shrouded in gray smoke, jangling pennies, you know, willing pay the price and all that junk like that. Why the rich? They've usually done something bad, something no one <coughs> knows. One look at me, pulls it right out of them like, <coughs> coughing up your lung over here. You should see the looks they give me. You don't look so scary. Do you live in Vegas? I'm not in my costume yet. When the black veil and the smoke effects, trust me, it worked. <coughs> so you're famous? I guess. Word gets around. I'm a regular topic, yada yada, on a midnight radio. You gotta love it, though. They're fucking great. Not that it matters, though. Uh, it ain't like being famous when you're alive. What's different about it? I wish it was in books. What was your life like? My life was Vegas. I was an executive assistant <coughs> to this big shot casino owner. This was back in the boom, baby. The Mets. We love the Mets. Wait, Las Vegas is in New York. Is that? Everyone moved in post-war. By the early 50s, it was a wonderland. <coughs> Ugh. Ah, oh, smoker's lung is a bitch. My boss was a real piece of work. Balding, bad suits. Always eating peanuts. Tossing back rye. He was obsessed with money. Got it any way he could. When do I get to stop talking against this person? And never let it go. No one liked him. I don't like you. But plenty feared him. It was my job to keep his sins quiet. No wonder you're such a ratty old ghost. Anyway, that's me. What brings you to this thing? I was lying. I hear ya. I'm about as lonely as a lost shoe. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because I don't have feet. Just as useless, too. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> you get used to it, kid. Also, you never get used to it. You're not useless. I'm surprised you're lonely. We can be lonely to No. Thanks, hon. Sometimes I'm not sure anything I do matters. <sighs> Got that feeling in life. Can't seem to make it go away. <sighs> the bell rings. Hush your little mouth. Guess that's the bell. <sighs> we'll have to pick this... <sighs> We'll have to pick this up later. Sorry about that. I had, to, had some stuff in my throat. See ya. Now my throat hurts. Ah, it's orange and bright. Another ghost appears. Um. Hey. Hey. I'm Stephanie. But you can call me Steph. Everybody does. Hi, Steph. Hey. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Oh god, the, the eyes! The eyes are the creepy part. I've never done anything like this before. I spent like an hour putting my face on this morning. You look nice. Thank you! That's sweet of you to say. What brings you to speed dating? I've been single for a while. At first it was great. I did what I wanted to do. Taught myself some Japanese. Played my clarinet every day without fail. Allowed myself time to get to know the real me. But after a while, the silence gets to you. My cat only says so much. I know what you mean. Tell me about your cat. Clarence, after the angel, but he's more of a demon, especially around food. Ugh, you know what I mean? You know how most cats have this pleasant meow? Almost a mew? Clarence wails and whines, all raspy like he's dying. Or dead <laughs> sorry you probably think I'm so weird we're all a little weird 
I suppose it beats being normal. <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing worse than meeting someone and running out of things to say. After like 10 minutes, that's why I'm here. There's no time to get bored. If you do, it's almost impressive. Tell me about learning Japanese. I thought I'd pick it up easily, since it's so far removed from English. There's such an art to drawing the characters, but there are so many. First you learn hiragana, these are the basic characters for sounds, then katakana, for words taken from other languages. By the time I learned all those, I thought I was getting pretty good. Then came kanji. There are thousands of kanji characters. It's overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, if only. I'll die before I learn the language. Haha, <laughs> true. I mean, we all are in a sense, right? Waiting to die. I mean, you're dead stuff. You know you're a ghost, right? If only. Sometimes I wish I was a ghost. Like, not dead. That would be terrible. But a ghost. All ephemeral? All ephemeral and timeless. But you are a ghost. Huh? I'm a ghost. Very funny. Haha. <laughs> I'm serious. Wait. What? What do you mean? No, wait. The bell can't be ringing yet. I don't understand. We're dead? Did I die? Am I a ghost? Uh oh, I fucked up. Mm, that was bad of me, I guess. The second round begins. Sup? I'm Riley again. I'm gonna have to pick this dude then. Haha. <laughs> So, like, what should we talk about now? I have no idea. Sports are gonna need... Mm, I have no idea. Oh. Well, if you have no idea, I, and I have no idea, this will be a weird few minutes. Hmm. Clicks tongue. Oh, so... <laughs> Just a little tune I wrote. You make music. Are you sure? Because once you hear it, you won't get it out of your head. Yes, please. Nobody ever wants to hear my music. This is rad. Okay. So, it goes a little something like this. There's nothing I would like better than lying beside you forever in a graveyard cemetery row. Watching the green grass grow. Let him keep saying. The sun would be down on the stones. No one would be on their phones. It would be the most perfect place. Almost as perfect as your face. I can't get in tune with this. So, what do you think? It was great. You're too kind. Wait, wrong, wrong. Game. You're too kind. I <laughs> guess I'm just lucky. Gifted with the blessing of the beat, you know? So my music. Sometimes I'll be exploring a graveyard and BAM! Inspiration kicks one through the uprights. Owie. Do you do any art? I draw. It's good to be into things. I was never good at drawing. Best I can do are stick figures. They're pretty good stick figures, though. Kind of stick figures. I mean, mostly football plays and little football teams. Running those plays. So you're nice and hot? Score! I'm going for Riley. Riley looks like the best one here. The bell rings. And now my throat is... Go what the hell? So, like, I was thinking. It might be fun to see a game together. My old team's playing our state rivals. It's been a while since I've checked in on them. I like that. Righteous! Just tell me after they wrap up here. I'll pick you up in my ghost car. It's a convertible. Of course it is. I can't wait. Me neither. Did I get a date? Did I get a date? I got a date, didn't I? My throat hurt. Oh, my throat's gonna hurt. Hello again, sunshine. Good to see you back around. <coughs> we already talked a bit about how I lived the Vegas life. 
My crooked casino boss, I'd like to tell you about how I died. I'm honestly curious. It's speed dating, might as well lay my cards out. One day in 1954, the casino rang me up. A voice, the boss's son, said they were out of clean shirts. It was maybe, I don't know, 6 a.m. The sun wasn't up yet, but it was close. I dropped my girl off at a sitter and rushed over to the casino. Where did you go? You had a daughter. Where did you go? By this point, he had me trapped. I knew all his secrets, Wazowski, and he knew mine. If I left, who knows what he'd do. I didn't mind dying, but I had a kid to think about. My throat is fucking killing me. The casino front doors were locked. The doors were never locked. Security let me in and led me to the blackjack tables. <laughs> Where my boss was waiting, dead on the floor, blood soaking into the burgundy carpet. Carpet, and that's when I was like, no, not the burgundy. How awful. Awful's right. I never liked the guy, but I wasn't happy. That's for sure. Unlike his son standing next to his dad's body, he smiled when he saw me. You'll make this go away, he said. I nodded. Two guys bigger than horses stepped up behind me. They loaded my dead boss into the trunk of a black car. One of them drove, the other made sure to sit with me in the back seat. You know these men? Do you like his son? Did you meet? No, all their tufts looked the same. I swear they worked a year and then got put down. Like my boss had been put down. I kept thinking about where this put me. When we got to the desert, they would they bury me too? But they didn't. I watched as my boss, friend, and the mayor, a builder, a legend, got what he deserved. A hole in the sand. And she stayed there. I wasn't about to pick her up, at least not until things cooled down. So how did you die? I went home alone, locked all the doors and windows, turned off all the lights, and waited. Nothing happened. Of course nothing happened, of course. Until I nodded off, I woke to an intense heat. And there's when the damn thing exploded. <laughs> Took a deep breath, sucking in hot black smoke. My lungs felt like they were burning. My throat feels like it's burning. I couldn't see. They burned my home down after making sure I was inside. I'm so sorry, Vera. Yeah, well, now you know why I'm the lady in smoke. <coughs> oh, fuck. The bell rings. Sorry this got so grim. After this is all over, maybe we can dr grab a drink and try not to let the past haunt us. Even for just an hour. Oh my god, my fucking throat. I feel like I'm doing... Wazowski, you forgot to file your paperwork again. So, wait, we're, we're actually totally 100% dead? Yes. As an afterlife? The afterlife? So, you're a ghost and I'm a, a ghost? I thought that was strange. But then I just figured, ghost, what, was ironic or something? Maybe slang for people who are a little, you know, out of it. I'm a little out of it, right now especially. It is hard to believe. I mean, really. Seriously, there's no such thing as ghosts. You seem pretty real. Are you all just pulling my leg? Is this the prank show? One of those hidden camera things? I can see right through your weird monster makeup. So, if this isn't a show, then what? A dream? Is this some messed up dream? If that's what it is, I should be able to wake myself up. But, like, screaming or something... That usually works. I mean, you can try. <laughs> Why is that so funny?
Nothing happened. Feel any better? I still feel alive, just like disassociate, dissociated. Like the world is going on without me. It's a familiar feeling. I felt it a lot when I was alive too. It was difficult, except not really. Mostly life was pretty good. Good parents? Good parents for sure. There's really only one thing wrong with them. They were cooler than me. When I was born, they were in their early 20s. Whoa. They were into all this weird music, artsy movies about ballet show with the school witches, and fantastic planets that were just creepy. My dad even smoked alternative cigarettes. Meanwhile, I was that dark with the puzzles. Learning languages for fun, my parents were excited when I joined band. They thought it would help me make friends. It did not. <laughs> Mostly, I just like to practice alone in my room. No, you don't. I shouldn't be too hard on them. They were by my side during the worst of it. This is hard to talk about. I had can oh cancer, holy shit. A brain tumor. It was bad. Diagnosed a week after my 19th birthday. I started getting headaches and feeling confused about things. Things would just look wrong, out of place. It's hard to describe. Uh, what, how long did they give me? They gave me a few months with treatment that turned into a year. They said it was aggressive, so they had to be aggressive. Eventually, the symptoms subsided. It seemed like they zapped it. Told me I was progression free, whatever that means. I was allowed to go back to. Wow, that's fucked. But I didn't. I retreated to my room. After so much time facing death, I had a lot of trouble facing people. Funny, huh? Now I'm facing death and people. There's the bell. I guess it's back out into the world now. I have a lot to figure out. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for helping me talk this out. Steph leaves the room. If you hurry, you could catch up to her. See if she'd like to talk some more. Then again, a day with the ghost like Steph might not be the most exciting. She's no football hunk. There we go, nor is she the infamous lady in smoke. Who, wait, do I get to choose? 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 Choose your date? Duh, Riley, holy shit. Three hours to do every single date on this, apparently. Riley asked you to meet at Key Heights Field, his old stomping ground when he played football for Hacks and Tech. Hey, you smell that? Yeah, it's sweaty. Really pretends to breathe it in. <laughs> Smells like victory out of here. And weed killer. Thanks for meeting me on Sunday. At this most holy place. <clears throat> My old team, the Phantoms. <laughs> Funny. Funny how they were the Phantoms and look at me, I'm a fucking ghost. <laughs> Are playing our arch rivals the demons? Ha! Huh? Funny because we're ghosts, you know. Very funny and shit. The fandoms need to win this game, not for some championship, just to maintain some dignity. They've had a sucky season, a lot of sucky seasons since I died. Honestly, not that I'm full of myself, but uh, I'm, I have a football on my head and stuff. It's no big deal. You make your way into the stadium. This is a college football game in the Midwest. The stadium is huge, something the pros would be lucky to play in. There are thousands of people here to cheer on the hometown phantoms. Riley takes you to the sidelines. Ghosts get great seats at sporting... Well, no shit. If you want, you can go right on the field. Pretty neat, huh? Alright. Phantom Zero, Demon Zero. Welcome to the second game in our exciting late season double header. The Hacks and Phantoms had a, a lackluster season to say the least, only winning two of their last seven games. Hackson is looking to save face against bitter rivals Hades, you, and their screaming demons. Here we go. The Phantoms get on the scoreboard early with a quick return and a smart pass for six. Touchdown! My guys don't mess around. They kick it through the uprights for the extra point. Yes, easy point. After a few turnovers, the Phantoms throw a long bomb. They make a spectacular catch in the end zone. What a play! Oh, snap! Another touchdown! High five! The Phantoms, the Phantoms try for the extra point. It's good! 
Nice work with the kick. That's a lot of game left. <laughs> totally. Anything can happen. And probably will. That's why I love football. The demons are looking like a new team in the second half. I'd like to see them try to turn it around. They make a huge push to get within field goal range. The kick is long, but it's good for three! Pfft. They gotta do more than that. Phantom ball, they go for a gutsy pass. Interception! Oof. That wasn't a smart pass, guys. The demons are brought down again within field goal range. After failing to get another first down, they opt to kick it through the uprights for three. Another field goal? Ha! Huh. Don't worry. We still got this. I'm not worried. Love the optimism. Sports boys like encouragement. Don't even need to hear it. They can just feel it, you know? The, the Fandoms are back on the offensive after a couple turnovers at midfield. They fumble the ball. The demons pick it up and start to run. To the 50. The 40. They break free. They're going all the way. Touchdown. Oh, no. The demons try for the two-point conversion to tie it up, and it's good. Oh, no. The Phantoms and demons are now tied with just a few minutes left in the game. What an exciting turn of events. I... I gotta do something. I gotta help my team. They need to know they're good at sports. But go secretly fixing things? That'd be unsportsmanlike. A uh, sports person like, whoops. But if they don't know what's really going on, totally not my style. What if you play for the other side? Even the odds a bit, you know? Just like, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. The Phantoms have possession. The young team watch their lead disappear. Now they've all but lost their momentum. Everything is pointing towards their stunning defeat at home. We'll see about that. Riley takes control of the running back. The quarterback hangs off the ball, hands off the ball to Riley, who makes a break for it. He's tackled quickly. It's fourth down, but defendants are just within field goal range. Riley has to gain three yards or risk turning the ball over to you. All right, I got some options here. Choose a defense based on what you expect Riley to do. Riley will try to run the ball. Riley will try to run the ball. The Fandoms try for the field goal. Despite you setting up for a running play, uh, the ball sails into the air in a straight path to the uprights. Unless... Ball squeaks through the uprights. Field goal! The Phantoms move ahead of the Demons with only time for a few more plays. I saw a window and went for the easy three. Demons have possession now. They make a heck of a return. In three short plays, they reach the Phantom 40-yard <coughs> line. Ow. Now let's see. now let's see what you can do. Go for a field goal. Try for a touchdown. <coughs> the Demons attempt a gutsy pass on the third down. Yeah! Intercepted! <laughs> The Phantoms regain control of the ball and have a chance to widen their lead. <coughs> Tough break. Couldn't know when to kick, bud. First down at the Phantom 40-yard line. Expect a pass. The Phantom quarterback moves back then left before finding an open receiver on the right. The receiver breaks away from the pack. He's got a clear path to the end zone. Touchdown! I did it, I think. How you feeling? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Expect Riley to expect Riley to kick. The Phantoms take the risk and try for two. The risk pays off. They run it right past the demon defense who were set up to block the kick. Ooh, I feel like dancing! <laughs> Holy shit. Because you were expecting a field goal, Riley was able to convert for two points. That settles it, folks. With seconds left, the demons only have time to mount one more run. We're out of time. Even if you manage another touchdown, it wouldn't be enough. Phantoms win! Yeah, defenders! After the Demons fought hard to tie the game, the Phantoms came alive in a tense fourth quarter to win it with confidence. That was rad! Riley stands there awkwardly, not making eye contact. Can I kiss you, Riley? Absolutely! 
I don't know why I went so far. He purses his lips and leans in to kiss you. You lean in too and go right through each other. Riley looks embarrassed. That was my first time trying to kiss as a ghost. I guess I need some practice. Haha. <laughs> Wanna try again? Do they kiss? Do we kiss? Why do I always go for the hunks? Well, I guess that one would have been hard. In yeah, speed dating for ghosts! I know there's some other, um, you know, things I can do in this game. Like, I mean, I got Riley. Look at all these people that I can just, like, meet and stuff. But for now, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna end it. And I'm, this is the only video of this I'm doing. So if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. Subscribe if you're new. And may the odds be ever in your favor.